What's up everybody and welcome back to another math puzzle. This one is an incomplete multiplication problem. We can see that the product at the bottom is 3,286. And the question is, what is E and F? What are they? They are numerical values and they are digits, which means that their values are anywhere from zero through nine. Go ahead and hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. So with something like this, yes, we could figure out randomly what two numbers multiply to 3,286. We could just start kind of randomly plugging in values for E and F and keep calculating like that. But remember, it's all about strategy and efficiency in these math problems. So the easiest access point is looking at this six right here. The reason why that six is so important is because it can only come from F multiplying three. That's gonna be in the ones place. Everything else is gonna be in the tens, hundreds, or thousands place when, when we multiply it out. So the question is, what times three gives me six? And the nice part here is there's only one answer. The only thing that F can be is two. So now we know that F has to be two. All we have left now is to figure out what is E. And by the way, that full number now becomes 62. So it's 62 times what? three, something three. So there's two ways we could go about this. One, we could now divide 3,286 by 62, and that will help us get that full number. But the other thing we can do is we can kind of play this out and see what happens. So if we're assuming F is three, then right here is gonna be six. We know that we're gonna have a zero in the next row because it's gonna be six times three going down here. So let's play that out. We know that six times three will give us an eight with a carry of a one. All right, now this right here is enough and I'll tell you why. We know that this digit right here has to be a zero when we multiply F times E. And that has to be the case because zero plus eight will give us that eight at the bottom. There's only two ways we can get an eight. If E is a zero or if E is a five. If E were a zero, this would be 62 times zero, three, or 62 times three, way too small. Therefore, E has to be a five. So in this case, it's 62 times 53, which puts E at five. And of course, if you do wanna go ahead and multiply those numbers out, you'll see that we do indeed get 3,286. I hope you enjoyed this math puzzle, and if you did, please click that like button, and if you wanna see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining and i will see you in the next video take it easy